Hi, welcome. My name is Joanne Ho, and I'm on the CATS board, the Contemporary Asian Theatre Scene. Today, we're having this program to bring to your attention a new important project um, called J-Town Visual Novel. It's an important project. It comes at a great time as we just came to the end of the AAPI Heritage Month. So this new project is actually uh, a video game, a graphic novel, and also a Japanese American history lesson all in one. So I won't give away too much right now. Um, we will be having a, a live demo of this game and it will be brought to you by um, Cindy Toy, who's also on our CATS board and Isaac Gatton. Um, Isaac Gatton is the project's co-director, producer, character and background artist and programmer. And when he's not working on this particular project, he is a game developer and a producer based in San Jose. He is also an active volunteer in the Asian American community in Silicon Valley. So right now we'll turn it over to Isaac and Cindy and they'll give you a demo of J-Town, a visual novel. Hello, thank you. Hello. It's exciting. Yeah, we're ready to jump right into it? Yeah. Perfect. And can you see that okay? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, so quick words, uh, this is a work in progress. Um, everything will probably look different and hopefully better. Uh, so let's get into it. So <clears throat> you step out of your car and look around. It's a quiet neighborhood, but far from a lifeless one. Families are walking in and out of the shops, and a few small groups are having conversations. As you approach, as you're taking in the sights, a woman notices you and approaches. Hey there, you look lost. I'm Yuri. What's your name? I'm just going to type in Cindy right now. She'll be the one making all of the decisions that are going to come up in this game. Nice to meet you, Cindy. Welcome to J-Town. You like to read your lines? Oh, okay. What sort of place is this? It's a community founded by Japanese immigrants way back in the day. Yuri looks eager to jump into a full diatribe about the neighborhood's history when her phone rings. Shoot, I totally forgot I'm supposed to meet Kyle to prep for the J-Town Peace Coalition's next outreach program. It's nice to meet you. If you want to learn more about the community, you should definitely check out some of our stores and talk to the people who live here. I promise everyone here is super friendly. Yuri hurries way down the street, waving to a couple people who try to stop her for a conversation. So, where will you head first? The tiny shop with the sweet smell coming from it. All right. You follow your nose down the street. As you approach the small shop, you notice a few different groups hanging out, all eating the same soft, round little confectionaries. This must be the smell that pulled you over. Lost in thought, you fail to notice the tiny footsteps quickly approaching you from behind. Crash! The little boy darts past you, nearly knocking you to your feet. Sean, how many times have I told you to watch where you're going? You turn and see a woman walking at a brisk pace just behind the kid. She is staring dagger daggers at her kid, but when she turns to you, she instantly lights up as if she's seen an old friend. I'm so sorry, my son hangs out here after school and gets a little energetic sometimes. He seems like a good kid. He is, you know. He kind of reminds me of myself at this age, running around this very store, giving my dad trouble when he was tending to customers. Also, just a quick note, uh, this will be voiced by someone different in the actual game, so you don't have to hear me. <laughs> I gotta check out, I, yeah. I gotta get back to work before I start rambling too much. Feel free to check my shop out. The shop is tiny, but the glass display cases lining the wall are filled with dozens of different treats, yeah, different kinds of small treats, all nestled in paper wrapping. Most, most of the desserts are round, but some are rectangular too, and they all look soft and sweet. Some are pink, some are dusted with a light brown powder, and oh, there's the white ones you saw the other customers eating. Definitely don't see these at McDonald's. So you own the shop? Oh yeah, I inherited it from my dad, and it was passed down by his dad for him. My grandmother opened 
my grandfather opened Miyazaki Mochi's back when Japan Town, back when Japanese people started moving here. This is the oldest shop in J Town. My name is Sharon Miyazaki, by the way. Sorry from all over the place. There's so much to do here. What is Miyazaki Mochi exactly? Everything you see here is mochi, Japanese rice cakes. Mochi is typically made by steaming rice, then pounding it <clears throat> until it gets soft and molding them into s these balls. My family has their own secret recipe though. And you work here by yourself? I have several employees, including those helping make the mochi in the back, but I'm running this place alone, yeah. I just took over last year after my dad hurt his back and had to retire. And if I'm being honest, it, it's kind of a lot, especially since I'm raising two young ones. Didn't realize how much work it'd be. Other ingredients, shipping mochi to our bigger buyers, uh, ordering ingredients, shipping mochi to our bigger buyers, balancing the checkbooks, dad made it look so easy. Oh, and like all of that isn't enough to turn my hair gray, or I mean, turn my hair even grayer. My kids have already aged me plenty. I have to worry about the rent at the end of the day. Business is good, but it could always be better. So rent doesn't have to weigh on my mind. I bet development in this area would bring more business in. Absolutely not. So, sorry for yelling. <clears throat> I've, but I've seen that happen in other neighborhoods. Those fancy high rises that attract well off folks. Those people don't really care about the community they live in. They just want to say they live in a hip part of town and then turn right around and complain when our cultural festivals go on late into the night. Most people, more people doesn't necessarily mean more business, you know? And the worst part of development, the value of all the property here goes up, which means my rent likely goes up too. Some of the other ethnic neighborhoods are practically ghost towns now because of their local shops had to close. I'm already drowning here. There's no way, there's no way we can keep up our door. There's no way we can keep our doors open if I have to pay even more than what I already am paying. It'd be a nightmare. I didn't think about that. I'm so embarrassed for unloading on a on, I'm so embarrassed for unloading on you like that. A perfect stranger. Though I guess now we're not strangers anymore, right? I get so frightened when I think about a world where Miyazaki Mochi doesn't exist. My grandfather sacrificed so much to get here from Japan and built this place from the ground up. If Miyazaki Mochi disappears, so does my family legacy that we've worked so hard to maintain. Running this place is hard, but I love it. It's home. And I want to preserve it so that I can pass it on to Sean when he's ready. A phone rings by the register. Ah, I'm expecting that call. Here, let me pack you some mochi. It's on the house. Please insist. I insist on paying. And I insist on giving, gifting you mochi. It's the least I can do after making you listen to me complain about my life. And it's rude to reject a gift, you know. Thank you. I'll throw, my, I'll throw on my favorite mochi, blueberry mochi. It's filled with fresh blueberries we get from a local Japanese-American farm, so it's extra special. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Sharon is already on the phone in full business work, full business mode, so you sneak out. Sean waves to you as you leave. And hey there, that's the end of the demo. Thanks for checking it out. The dev team has a lot more planned and a lot more to do before releasing this game, but we're really excited to share what we have now. Can't wait for you to meet me and the rest of the characters in this game. And that is our demo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cindy and Isaac, for walking us through the program. Uh, it's a really cool game, and I want to really get my hands around this and play it. Uh, my name is Leanne Lamb, and I am executive director of Contemporary Asian Theater Scene. Thanks all for joining us. And let's learn a little bit more about this game. I think we're very anxious about getting into it. Uh, I'd like to have um, both Isaac come back into the program. And I'd also like to introduce this co-director co and producer, Taylor Week. Um, Taylor is an LA-based writer who reports on young people and AAPI communities with writing in Teen Vogue, NBC, Asian America, and more. She's also an active volunteer in LA's Japanese American community, having spent several years working at Kazuma and sitting on the Gardenia Valley's JCI's Day of Remembrance Committee. Welcome, Taylor, and welcome, Isaac. Thank you. 
Very cool. I know this has taken a lot, lot of work um, and gaming is such a cool thing. Um, Isaac, can you start us off and tell us what was your inspiration for J Town visual novel? Uh, yeah. So originally I, when I wanted to make uh, this type of game, um, it started kind of in the pandemic of like, I wanted something about community, um, something to kind of just help tie people together and, you know, yeah, make it about community. And the more I thought about that, the more I realized so much of what community means to me comes from uh, Japantown. And so I realized like, oh, you know, if I'm going to make a game about community, it's going to have to be about, you know, Japantown. Well, excellent. Cool. And Taylor, how did, you know, you're from Southern Cal and um, Isaac's from Northern Cal. How did you guys start the project? Yeah, well, in many ways, I think this project and partnership has been a long time coming. Uh, Isaac and I met in San Jose's Japantown in 2017 through the Nikkei Community Internship, which, for those who don't know, is a summer college internship program organized by all three of our Japantowns as a way to develop our next generation of leaders and bring them into the community. So we met, we met there and we've kept in touch throughout the years and often bonded over both our mutual love of video games and Japanese American culture. So that's why I say this has been a long time coming. Uh, and I, I feel like everything has led to this moment when early this year, Isaac approached me with this idea he had to make a game about our Japan towns, um, you know, and the subject matter is something we're both passionate about. It's something we think more people should learn about. So uh, I didn't hesitate to say yes to this opportunity. Oh, excellent. Now, um, Isaac, this project, it appeals to people of all backgrounds and in, in, in ages and so on. And you know, I was wondering, what do you hope to achieve with the project? Uh, the, the biggest thing is that I just want um, information and like knowledge about Japanese American culture and Japanese American history to just be more accessible. You know, like I think back to like high school and, um, you know, when we learn about World War II and incarceration, um, you know, it's very often that, you know, locking up, you know, thousands of Japanese Americans is reduced to just a paragraph where they're just like, oh, after Pearl Harbor, you know, people were scared of, you know, Japanese Americans. So, we put them in camps and then that's kind of it in the history books. And I just want this information to just be more accessible because there is so much more to it, even beyond, uh, you know, incarceration. That's for sure. There's a, we're, we're definitely more than our history, but our history definitely guides us uh, along the way. Now, Taylor, um, how did your combined experience, your experience with Isaac's experience really get to contribute to the, uh, creation of J-Town and visual novel? Uh, well, having worked in Little Tokyo for several years, uh, I'm obviously most familiar with LA's Japantown. So it was fairly easy for me to pull influence for some of these characters and situations. So for example, we saw that the game features this multi-generational family-owned mochi shop. Uh, and that was largely inspired by Fugetsudo, you know, which has been serving Little Tokyo since 1903. Uh, as for San Jose and San Francisco, Japantown influences, I really consulted Isaac on those ones uh, because it's important to us that the people who play this game will be able to recognize the Japantown that they know, you know, the Japantown that they grew up going to. And so we wanted there to be equal representation. Uh, we each even went to our own respective Japan towns uh, to take photos for Isaac to work off of for the background. So when you play it, you'll be able to recognize a lot of the Japan town scenery throughout the game. Oh, very cool. That's exciting. I, I think I, I definitely saw some iconic things in San Jose that was that were pretty like, but knowing that it's a uh, a conglomeration of all of it is is pretty cool. And like little rabbits to uh, to, to look out for, I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and Isaac, when do you uh, project completing the project? I, I know it takes a lot of time and in terms of timing and team, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, so we've been working on this basically since the beginning of the year and ambitiously, I'd like to release it in August. Um, but obviously, you know, things like uh, just other setbacks and delays because everybody here is no, no one here is working on this full time. Uh, so, you know, life, life may have to take priority in other aspects. Um, but ideally August, 
that that's our goal. Wonderful. Good. Well, it's that's only a couple of months away. So good luck in the next couple. Of months. <laughs> I, I want to let for folks who are on Facebook or on uh, on Zoom, if you have any questions, please put them into the uh, the chat or on the um, conversation. So um, we can uh, address those as we as we go through. Um, let's see, I, uh, Taylor, this is a huge um, volunteer effort by a very experienced team. Can you talk about the folks that actually are part of the group? Yes, um, and I'm sure Isaac can speak more to this as well, but uh, so I'm, I'm the co-writer. So Isaac brought me on initially to, to write all the characters. And we also have uh, Robert, our composer, who is creating like original music. You got to sample some of that in this, this demo. That's our theme song, uh, which I'm just so in love with. And um, I just think it's amazing to have been able to watch some of this come to life. Uh, Isaac, do you want to speak on some of the, uh, the voice acting we have uh, and graphic artists that we have working with us? Yeah, so, um, so far, uh, we haven't cast most of our characters yet, but um, if you go into our trailer, you'll actually hear uh, Kenzo and uh, Sharon speak, uh, voiced by Su Ling Chan and uh, Kyle Amori. <clears throat> uh, and they're both very talented voice actors. Uh, when I was working with our cast and director, Matty Matsumoto, uh, I, I immediately fell in love with both those voices. I think they captured you know, the characters perfectly. Uh, and I can't wait for you all to hear them like, uh, partially voiced in the game so not every like line will be fully read out but uh key moments will be uh, and i can't wait to help you know bring it to life better than i did because you know sharon does not sound like me in the game <laughs> um but aside from that we have oh, let me just pull up the list because i'm uh poodoo brain dumb when it comes to remembering names um but we also have uh izumi uh, murase who's doing who designed the wonderful logo that you saw um, and Jill Yamanishi is the uh, uh, UI artist, basically to help make all the text box and chat options look more fitting to our game's design. Uh, we've gotten just some of like the first drafts already, and I cannot wait to share them in the final game. Uh, and lastly, we have uh, Lori Takeda. Uh, she's been the one who's editing our videos for the trailer. Uh, but yeah, overall, we are... Uh, one just really proud to be like an Asian American team working on this um, in media, like uh, Crazy Rich Asians and all the other uh, movies and shows that have come out after it. I think it's really important to have, you know, uh, the media that's been about our communities uh, being led by, uh, you know, the people who live in the communities. That I could have said that better. Anyways, um, so yeah, really proud to have an Asian American team coming up. Um, like I said, I'm from San Jose, Taylor's from LA, and we have a bunch of other people like uh, uh, Izumi, who is from uh, SF. So we have lots of uh, lifeblood from the communities uh, putting like their uh, feelings into the games. Excellent. That, that's it, it does take a village to pull this thing together. And, and thanks for paving the way in getting the first, first game focused around J-Town. It's like, how can people help right now? How can they help support this? Is it money? Is it time? Is it effort? Is it getting the word out? What can they people can do to make sure that this uh, game is a success? Yeah, oh, all of that. <laughs> uh, you can support us by following us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at JTownVN. The VN stands for Visual Novel. Uh, and definitely by donating to our Kickstarter. Uh, it's active now. I believe we have a little less than three weeks left. So when you visit our Kickstarter page, uh, you'll be able to read more about our project, see things like how we're breaking down our budget, uh, and even be able to view the backer rewards breakdown. So we're, we're pleased to offer rewards for each tier we've established. So for example, a $10 donation will get you backer credit in the game and an early access demo, while a $100 donation will get you all of that, plus access to the soundtrack, digital art book, and even the opportunity to appear in the game as a background character drawn by Isaac. Uh, so I believe a link was posted, but you can also find us on social media and there will be links there too. 
Oh, awesome. Well, it sounds like it, the hundred dollars, I think it'd be really cool to have your own character <laughs> in the, in the, and there's not many places where that can be shared worldwide. As well. Yeah. I believe, I believe right now that's our most popular option. A lot of people want to be background characters. <laughs> yeah. And thank you to everyone who's donated so far. Really appreciate it. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. So where, what environments could they possibly be in? I think there's, we went to the mochi shop already, but what other um, areas, Isaac, can people um, visit? Yeah. So aside from like the general outdoor public of like the streets of uh, all three Japan towns, you can also uh, go to uh, the history museum, uh, an anime pop shop, the grocery store, uh, an elder care facility and uh, a cafe. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. And each of these different uh, areas will have, you know, stories focused on things that are going to be in or culturally relevant to Japantown. Oh, that's, that's going to be, I, I really like the way you interweave the, uh, the, the cultural elements and some of the history behind that. And, and also um, some of the norms that people um, might not pick up initially. So it's really, really quite cool. Um, Taylor, can you talk about some of the fun characters that you might find in these different um, communities or different areas? Yeah, sure. I'll talk a, about a couple. Uh, one of them you just got the chance to uh, interact with, Sherry Miyazaki. Uh, she was the first character I wrote for this project, uh, fourth generation owner of Miyazaki Mochi in J-Town. Uh, and her main thing is, I mean, when you meet Sharon, especially when you play the full game, you'll see she has so much on her hands. You know, she's she's raising a family while also working to keep her fam family business afloat. Uh, and it's a legacy business at that, right? It's been around in the community for over a hundred years. So there's just a lot of pressure she's feeling to preserve everything her family's done. And and that topic, uh, you know, the preservation of legacy businesses, I'm sure you know, it's, it's, it's a huge topic in, in our Japan towns. So I knew immediately when I started this work that, that we would want a character who's going through that. Um, so yeah, really, really love Sharon. Uh, in addition to her, I guess one other character I'll mention is there's this girl named Lena who the player will run into at the grocery store. And I, I just got so much love for her. She's because she's mixed race, uh, as am I. And so I definitely wanted a mixed race character who can talk about, you know, the feelings that a lot of mixed kids grow up feeling about maybe feeling like they're not Asian enough or not this enough. And, and how, as a person, you kind of have to find your own way to belong, uh, and create your own belonging in this world. So I'm really excited for players to, to meet Lena. Oh, and thank you so much for creating um, multidimensional characters, real characters that are just either our friends or our kids or or so on. I really appreciate it. that's a good reflection. Definitely, it's. Um, I think the, you know, the this game is so interesting, and you know what what do you hope to. Um, how wide can people see this? How, where can they view it when you actually launch it? Is it going to be on the normal gaming platforms or um, how can I, I can pick it up? Yeah, so um, once the game's released, uh, if anyone's familiar in the, in the uh, chat, uh, it'll be on uh, Steam and Itch.io, which will be available on both Mac and PC. Uh, oh, and it will be for free because just uh, education is super important to us. So we want to make sure that this is just as accessible as possible. Um, so the Kickstarter is not for my profit. It is just to pay the artists who are, uh, you know, working on this because they're incredibly talented and deserve to be paid. That That's pretty impressive. I, I would imagine there's a lot of games that are not in that kind of realm and as not as um, um, aware or woke about this. So thank you so much for making that available so folks, it's really important that we support these games, support the effort is, that they're laying out right now. Um, so go to that Kickstarter that's currently in, in the uh, chat and make sure that you look at their social media and follow them. I think that's really important. Absolutely. Very cool. Is there um, what what should people know that um, about this game that they might that might not be um, very obvious? Is there um, Taylor? I didn't want to comment on on that. Something that might not be very obvious. 
me think. Um, well, there are going to be a lot of J Town and Japanese American Easter eggs in there. Uh, I mean, again, it's it's a very we wanted to make this game very accessible because we are trying to educate as many people as we can about our wonderful community. So it's you know anyone can play it and learn a lot about J Towns, but we wanted to include some special Easter eggs for the folks that have been involved uh, for years. So you'll, you know, you'll see some street names or some names of these businesses that, that might look familiar, that might be some Japanese American icons or community leaders that you know. So be on the lookout for that. Very cool, very cool. Well, 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 definitely when this launches, we are definitely, we want you back. We want to see, her all, see all about it and make sure that people um, download this thing. Is I'm sorry, is it a download or, or <laughs> I'm so sorry, but do I download it or what I? Um... Yeah, it, it'll be a download. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get my first Steam download, and I'm looking <laughs> yes. really forward to it. <laughs> awesome! This is great, wonderful. If there's any other questions coming in, um, please add them because we're going to pretty much we have one more minute before the end of that program. This is great. Very cool. It, this is um, this is definitely a labor of love, and um, we really appreciate all your effort because we know it takes a lot of time, and there's so much more um, that meets the eye. So thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you much, Isaac, for um, pulling this together and your efforts to um, make sure that people re recognize the beauty of the and the richness of the Japanese American community. Oh, and thank you. I mean, it's it's. I think in reaching out to folks about our Kickstarter and supporting us, I, I recognize that, um, you know, folks like you and, and folks I've been reaching out to in little Tokyo have all helped me and helped Isaac on this community journey, you know? So it's just kind of a really cool situation to be in where um, there's just support going all around. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and with that, I'd like to turn the program over to Joanne. Thanks again, Taylor and Isaac. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Liam, Cindy, Isaac, and Taylor. That was a really good discussion. This game looks so great. I mean, so educational, um, getting to know real people in the J-Town community. I think also it'll after people play the game, they probably will want to go visit J-Town and try some of the food and just take in all this, the scenery and just the the, the environment that you, that is like your game. So hopefully people will do that. Um, so thank you for joining us today. Um, I'd also like to thank our sponsors of CATS, um, Friends of CATS, CM Capital and other foundations that make programs like this possible. And I'm also gonna take this time to um, let people know our, some of our upcoming programs this summer. We are um, starting a summer hangout theater reading series. Our first one will be held June 17 and 18. We'll be pre uh, presenting God Said This by Leah Nanako Winkler. And um, it'll be followed on July 8 and 9 by the play The Great Leap by Lauren Yi. Um, both of these shows will be held in Japantown in San Jose. And we're going to be featuring some very talented young rising artists. So please visit our website for more information on that. Hope to see you there. And um, thanks again for joining us today. And I hope everyone checks out the new game, J-Town, a visual novel. Thanks. <laughs>